Yo, what is up guys? My name is Tyler W and today I got with me again my beautiful girlfriend Cassie and we're gonna be doing a Q&A video because you guys left a lot of questions on the last video which I taught her how to beatbox and that went amazing and it was well received so thank you guys so much for that support. If you haven't seen it yet, link down below, check it out but now we are gonna be answering a lot of your questions. Now I'm here. <laughs> Beatbox channel. Real quick, before we really get into the questions, uh, for some reason a lot of you guys didn't really uh, get that the shout out at the end of the teaching video was fake, and uh, there was a lot of gold comments from that. Man, that sh was fake. That after was fake. No hate, but I honestly think this is fake. I mean, look at her mouth at 1513. It looks like she's doing nothing at all. Wait a minute, she can't lip roll, and in the shout out, she does lip roll. Fake. That wasn't her beatboxing on the after thing, because if you look at her jaw, it didn't move once. Tyler just shouted himself out. That was clearly his beatboxing LMAO. Fake. It's sad because it's fake. His girlfriend is just covering her mouth with the mic and Tyler W is beatboxing. XD face. That wasn't her beatboxing. Bull. <laughs> So those were just some of the amazing fake comments there, trying to call us out on our fake shout out at the end. But you guys did receive it really well overall and y'all loved that video, so thank you so much. I really enjoyed making that video and that kind of content. So my question for you guys today, what I want you to comment down below is what kind of content do you want to see me putting out on this channel? I have a lot of ideas and I know what I want to do for a little bit of time, but if you guys have some really good ideas and if you guys have kinds of videos that you like me to make, like tutorials, amigos, and you want to see more of those, comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you want to see me produce on this channel with or without her. All right, before we jump into the questions, make sure you hit that like button down below. Share this video with all of your friends. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell because, you know, YouTube doesn't like to notify you of all the content that I produce, so do that so you always are aware when I put something out. All right, so the first question is, is she your girlfriend? I think that's a solid yes. Yes, I, I think I'm going to go with a yes on that one. So the next beautiful question is, is she the one who's been holding the mic for your album videos? Yes, if you guys can't recognize that hand, that is the hand that painstakingly held that zoom mic for all 10 album videos. I'm telling you, like, it took so long to film all of that stuff, so it was incredible that she uh, came and held that microphone and dealt with me screwing up left and right. Over I have and over. massive wrist yes. strength. Yes, you, you have, like, amazing wrist strength now. <laughs> so this next question is like a stock core question to this Q&A, and it's gonna be, how did Cassie first find out about your beatboxing was she annoyed with it at first but this also kind of combos with how the f did you guys meet each other <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we first met when I auditioned for our acapella group in undergrad, right? And then we just kind of started hanging out and became really good friends and best friends. And then eventually I found out she liked me because I had no balls to actually ask her out. Then I heard that she liked me and I was like, oh, boom. I don't think you were annoyed by it at first. I'd like to think though, right? No, I thought it was amazing when I heard it the first time. Everyone else in the group did too because we didn't really know what beatboxing was. So that was pretty impressive, <laughs> I will say. I mean, come on. You were doing like two sounds at the same time. Blew our minds. So we were all sitting there like, well, who is this? Well, the funny thing is, <laughs> Like when I did this, I did a cover of I Love You by Slizzer, mm -hmm. right? So it's like <laughs> every day you in my mind. <laughs> and one of those beats that kind of like everyone does when they first start, like that bongo drum. The <laughs> it's funny when I look back and think about what I did and what blew their mind versus, you know, what I know beatboxing to be now and what I can do. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's, yeah, so if you ever think that you're too beginner to try out for anything like that, I would do it anyway because there isn't a lot of knowledge, at least in acapella, or at least in our school. And acapella is like the best thing for beatboxing, but I'll get a whole series on acapella. I already kind of released one video, but now I kind of have all the prerequisite videos done. So a lot of acapella series videos are going to come soon, like five of them, I think. They're going to be great. They're going to be gold. 10 out of 10 recommendations. Oh, that. Rotten Tomatoes, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Does she feel your fuzzy head? Oh! All the time. All the time. Especially after a fresh cut. <laughs> she cuts my hair too, so it kind of just works out perfectly. You know, she gives me the fresh buzz, it's all actually, fuzzy. The only reason I cut his hair is to feel the fuzzy head. Good to know. <laughs> I, I like, like that, that right there. there. I don't know where that's going, but it was good. Oh, it's going right after that. It's going to go after every single question we say we like. No. It's going to go, I like that. Ow. Next question. How long have you two been together? Ah, you want to answer that one for me? Go ahead and answer that one for me. As of today, August oh. 26th, it's five years and four months. Yeah. Get it. 
get it. Long time. Too long. <laughs> Too long. Hey. Just kidding. You better be. Yeah, <laughs> so the next one. How did you tell your friends that you beatbox and how did they react? So I guess like for this one, it's going to be more so like when I tell people that I beatbox like my coworkers are friends and for you, you can answer when you tell your friends and coworkers that I beatbox like your boyfriend beatboxes. For me, it's like typically it's like one or two things, right? I'll tell people, I'll be like, yo, I beatbox. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But then other people are just like, yeah, you know, that's cool. Beatboxing isn't music and they're just kind of weird. I met a couple people that done that like at work and stuff like that. But for the most part, no one really knows what beatboxing is on my end at least because um, a lot of people that I work with are not of my age or at least that's kind of they're a little older and so they're like, oh, they're like boots and cats and I'm like, nah, nah, nah. We were so far beyond that now. So the reaction is kind of like hit or miss on us. Awesome versus like me. Most people don't know what it is when I tell them to, but I always quickly followed up with like, yeah, it's this whole community and there are these like national competitions. It's legit. It's so awesome. And then they asked me to see the videos or honestly just show it to them even if they didn't ask and they are just mind blown. So it's cool. And then on the other hand, my Uber driver knew exactly what I was talking about and he was like, but do you know like the real old school beatboxers? And, and, and I was like, I do a, actually. And he mentioned like Dougie Fresh. I was like, he's I've the learned. homie. He knows the history. It, it's kind of interesting. We always tell me like, oh yeah, I met some people today and I told them that you beatbox. They thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I'm always mm -hmm. like, that's kind of dope, right? Yeah, yeah. Beatboxing is getting shared more and more now. So I guess people in terms of viral videos are kind of now understanding more so what we do. So mm -hmm. it's like really easy to explain it to people now versus maybe a few years ago. <laughs> All right, next question. Pizza question section. <laughs> Pizza question section! Pizza question section! Basically, we had three questions, three beautiful oh. questions asking us about pizza. You guys must love pizza. So here we go with the pizza question section. Question one. What is your favorite flavor of pizza? Should we do what the other is? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we can try that. Um, I think yours is bacon. Yeah. What is mine? I think yours would be pepperoni. I think it's pepperoni. Now, if you could have your favorite combo pizza, like one of the specialty pizzas, oh, you know, what would it be? Oh, I know. Are we guessing? No, no, just, just say this one. Just Buffalo say chicken Buffalo pizza. chicken. I think though we have this one, it's like a chicken carbonara, mm. and so it's like peppers, spinach, chicken, oh. The mac and cheese one's dope. Oh my god, mac and cheese pizza. So if you good. haven't had mac and cheese pizza, it literally will kill you from the inside from just <laughs> the amount of unhealthiness it is, but it is amazing. Pizza question section, question two. <laughs> Pineapple on pizza, question oh, mark? no. That's no. like blasphemy, man. Cook Unless you're immediately throwing it into the trash. <laughs> pizza question section, question three. Would you rather never eat pizza again or let a cute puppy die? <laughs> Imagine a little baby Shih Tzu in your lap. You have the choice to eat this pizza <laughs> again for the rest of your life or let that cute Shih Tzu puppy die. Hmm, I guess I'll let the puppy live. Yeah, I have to do the same, you know. <laughs> Gotta Next question. Live. Done with that one. Can you say anything like, this is a good one? This is a good question. Like Fine. something to vary it. This is a good one. Have you proposed to her yet? Short answer is no. I was gonna say yes. <laughs> Surprise! I feel like we have. Short answer is not yet. I know what I want to do. I have full on plans. So I just got to put my plans into action. To be fair, we've been talking about like marriage and proposal ever since we started dating. So she kind of like knows it. it's coming. So you're going to like this one. Next question. Is she from India? Is your girlfriend Latina? <laughs> negative, negative. First of all, I'm from Staten Island, New York. So there's that. But in terms of ethnicity, I'm 100% Sicilian, Italian. Yeah, this is something she gets a lot. So that's funny. No one that knows. It, well, it's funny because like everywhere we go, they're like, oh, dude, are you like Arabic? Is she like Spanish, Latino? And I'm like, she's Italian. And they're like, oh. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's always no. a funny one. So I'm happy. I'm happy that someone said this too because I knew you get a kick out of that. <laughs> the next wonderful question that you beautiful people left for me is, what is the answer to life, Tyler? Mm, that's a good one. The answer to life is like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> answer every. Just do all of that. All right. Notification bell. That is the answer to life. Smash that like button down below. Down below. How did she gain the skills you have learned for a few years? In the last video, they're talking about how good you did. I'm just that good, man, dude. No explanation. She's other than clutch. She's I'm clutch. Expert beatboxer. So good. American champs. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like I said, we have been dating for over five years and she is kind of surrounded by beatboxing 24-7 and whenever I do tutorials, I kind of try the steps out on her first. So she really mm. had a kind of like prior knowledge to some of the sounds, but she did do hella good compared to what I thought she would do. <laughs> so there is that. She did really impress me, but she has that prior knowledge. There were a couple comments like, oh, I'm so discouraged. I'm like, don't. She's been like around it for a long time. <gasps> this next one kind of piggybacks off the last one and it is, do you think she can be a main stream beatboxer. <laughs> <laughs> 
negative. Negative on that one. Or just generally, do you think I could? Anyone can, I think, if they try hard enough. I sing. I like singing. Yeah, she's a singer. To be fair, she doesn't want to be a beatboxer. So that is why I say she won't be a mainstream beatboxer. If she wanted to be, anybody can be. Beatboxing is a skill that all you have to do is put enough time into and you'll definitely get. I do not um, have the time. <gasps> 13. New question. Tyla, why these girly laughs? laughs? Everyone Aww. makes fun of my d laugh. Like, I like his laugh. I love Thank you. Cute. At least somebody thinks. Makes me laugh too. Thank Leave you. my laugh alone <laughs> and out of the video comments. I love it. <laughs> Ew, stop. <laughs> so this next question is more for me, and it is, do you take beatboxing as a career or just a hobby? And I feel like this is one that is more of like a hard one to answer, right? Because the real truth is I would love to take it as a career. And it's very difficult to do so in terms of turning it into a full-time income. I would love to do it. I'm making strides to actually get to that point. Like if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't uploaded the video for the last month, which really is anything that I want to do. I want to be uploading constantly, but I've been putting in a lot of work on my website on the back end. I'm really trying to get to the point where I can sell you guys merch and t-shirts. I've been sitting on this amazing merch design for a very long time. I want to sell it. So that's like, these are things I'm doing to take steps to make this a career. Because the goal is I want to make this a career. This is very hard to do so. So right now, technically it's a hobby with aspirations to be a career. And I do actually have a career. I am a software developer. I sit at my desk all day and, you know, I do a little typing and I beatbox when I get a chance. She's in school right now to be a lawyer. So, you know, we're all moving forward in our life to do epic things. And I am pushing on YouTube and I'm trying to do more. So hopefully when I get this website done and get merch, out to you guys. Beatboxing will be more hardcore. Streaming, videos, everything. So the next question is more of a business question as well, and it is, do you have any solid plans in the works for providing Skype or other beatbox lessons in the future? Yes and no. I always thought it'd be a good idea to offer lessons and to do one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons or video lessons, and I do want to, but again, I'm trying to take strides to get my website set up and do a bunch of stuff, so it's unfortunately on the back burner to do, but if I get to the point where I'm fully established and I'm in a routine and I have the free time to do so. I would love to just offer my services and teach and provide everyone lessons, but that also requires coming with like lessons plans and all that, which takes time. And unfortunately, my time is devoted right now to website work and videos and coming up with new material because I ain't ready for American Champs and I got to get ready for that. Shit. All right, next question. Gorillas, the band? Yeah, the band. Do you, know, <laughs> do you get that at all? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Literally my ringtone yeah. since eighth grade. I'm proud of that. I planned to call you when you read that one out. Good you job, said I put my dude. phone on silent, Tyler, and I said, no, no, no. I got something up my I sleeve. I got something up my sleeve. It's a gorilla. It's an armpit. Nice. Ooh, celeb crush. Mm, that's a good one. Where do I be? Are we gonna do each other's? No, 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 it's Sarah. Zachary Levi, what are you gonna do? Yeah. He's... Who's Zach and Levi again? Chuck, man. Oh, Chuck. No one's gonna know who that is. I don't care. It's my celeb crush. <laughs> great singing voice, great face. Great singing voice. I'm done. <laughs> Mine is Jennifer Love Hewitt. Ever since Ghost Whisperer. Mm. Mm. Yep. Even I have a crush on her in this. I know you do. <laughs> I like this one. What are each of your annoying habits? Like that we're self-aware of? Like my annoying habits that I do and what do I think are annoying habits of yours? <laughs> Where do I be talking? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I know my two for you. Oh and, God. I yeah, know. I got two um... for you. Do you want me to go first? Because I know what it is. Okay. All right. So my first one for you is in the morning when you <laughs> go to get dressed and show, you will try on 12 different outfits and not one of those outfits will end up back where they belong. <laughs> they are all over the floor on the bed. And to be fair, you clean them up like 80% of the time. But on those days where you're like, I had no time. They're on the ground. I come home and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? The other one is, um, this, this is funny because I called you out on it today. Whenever I like walk to sit down on my computer to start doing work again, I put <laughs> headphones on and right before I put them on, she's like, Tyler. And I put my headphones down. I'm like, what? Cause like, I just, I just sit down to get back into it. You call me back to the other room. Okay. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I am literally doing an action and you tell me to do it as I'm doing it. So I'll be getting this water for dinner and be like, Hey, yeah, can you get us water? <laughs> I'm literally doing that right now. Is that the only one or is there other ones? I'm sure there are others, but I can't think of them right now. That's funny. I like that. Next question, oh no. Do both of you have interest in video games? And if yes, what games are you playing? I used to be a bomb video gamer. That's all I would do. Well, it's one of the things I know when we first like met, like that mm -hmm. I like, you were like, oh dude, I love video games. I'm like, that's dope. Growing up with three mm -hmm. older brothers, my yeah. sister too, but I would just play video games mm -hmm. all the time. But so, I don't have time anymore, so not really. We used to play Gears of War, like the story modes in Gears of War oh, yeah. like, all the time. We like, played a Gears 1. 
one, two, and three all the way through. Get a pizza. Sword. Get your game move face on. <laughs> don't go to sleep. War. The new COD came out. We tried oh, yeah. that for a little bit, but we never kind of got into it. But I personally was playing games more. I was playing Overwatch hardcore. Now it's it was PUBG, and I still love PUBG. I still don't have time to put into video games right now. I want to do more PUBG beatboxing videos because the last one was really well received, and I really had fun producing. That was like one of the more fun videos I've had. If you haven't know. seen that, it's linked in the description box yeah, yeah. down below. Check it out. It's hilarious. 10 out of 10 recommend. Rotten Tomatoes, 100%. <laughs> The next question is, do you watch anime? Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, best show of all Sailor time. Sailor Moon, Spirited I, Away. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. That's all you need. I don't watch anime that much, no. I think, like, Avatar The Last Airbender for me is, like, the best, like, show probably I've ever watched. You are a <laughs> Sailor Moon, like, fanatic, though. Oh my goodness, yeah. Talk about a celeb crush, tuxedo mask, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> what is the best thing to do when you are alone? Maybe when you're just by oh. yourself overall? What do you watching, do? Watching makeup guru videos. Yeah, yeah, you do do that. That is a thing. I beatbox and edit YouTube videos. Speaking of makeup, though, there is gonna be a video coming out in the near future of uh, her doing a beautiful makeup look and then me just completely overdubbing it with beatboxing sounds and vocals and just sounding ridiculous. It's straight hot fire. It's ten straight ten hot recommend. fire. Rotten Tomatoes, 100%. It'll be on the playlist shortly. <laughs> Watch out. This is another good one. When are you two going to get married? Great, fantastic this is, question. This is a fantabulous, awesomatic, super, dull, super freaking tabulous. This is a great Great question. So, we're gonna get married. It's kind of like been discussed since we started dating. Right now, it's definitely a matter of like financials and just timing. It costs money, requires time, and that's hard. So basically, because money is hard, if any of y'all out there work for a company like weddings, I'll, I'm taking sponsorship requests right now. Who wants to sponsor my wedding and be <laughs> in the wedding video, right? But really, it's a matter of money, because like I have a very large extended family, and so that's like a lot of freaking people to We're invite. just planners. Keep it short. We're gonna get married within a few years. Yeah. Watch out for that video. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, 100%. Cheers to marriage. Link in the description. Affiliate links. The final fantabulous last question that we have to answer today. When is hashtag mini Tyla coming? <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing. All y'all on the live stream always do hashtag mini Tyla because y'all want mini beatboxing Tyla W's. And it just can't happen yet, guys. A few years out, we'll have mini Tylas, right? But just no mini Tylas yet. Future. And I feel like the fact that we just talked about mini Tyla on an official video makes hashtag mini Tyla. It's not. It's a thing now. So that's all we got for the questions today, guys. There were a lot more questions that did not make it into the video. So everyone who did put a question on the last video and who replied to my Instagram story as of today, the day I'm filming it, thank you so much for your questions and your input. Unfortunately, there was just way too many questions and a lot of them dealt with me as a solo career rather than couple entity um, for this video. Thank you everyone who participated and did all that. I hope you guys enjoyed all the questions. Now we're going to get into some of our favorite comments. It's kind of like an honorable mention role of the video. I, I like, like that, that right there. there. Your girlfriend is not hot. I could get a hotter one with just one smash dog. <laughs> She looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> That's great. Dinosaurs are great. What does that even mean? Are you like a T-Rex? Like, <laughs> Next solid gold awesome comment. <laughs> <laughs> I think the way you read that one. <laughs> Another grade A comment. Why do you have a girlfriend and I don't? Put in mind that I'm a high level beatboxer as well, so you're not better than me. It's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. So good. Yeah, by the way, the only reason I'm dating you is because of your beatboxing. We cheers. I, I like, like that, that right, right there. there. I do love your videos, Tyla, but even your missus has a more manly laugh. There you go again with your little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Next comment. Your girlfriends suck. I'm just so rude. It's just rude, You're just man. plain old rude. You're just rude. Get out of here. No rude on this channel. <laughs> How do you not have an insane amount of subs? I hope you're the best, bro. You're fucking awesome. But we have 50 K subscribers, yeah. guys. Yeah. This is like doubling. Like button down below. Celebrate that. 50K. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Recommend. 100% Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I like, like that, that right, right there. there. I misread the title and thought you finally did a how to get a girlfriend tutorial, but I still enjoyed this. Y'all are f***ing cute and I aspire to have a relationship like yours, lol. It's Aww. track nine. It's track nine. Thank you. You're always so nice. If you guys don't know who track nine is, check out her channel. She puts out awesome videos. Literally the coolest videos. I know. I will be sure to put a link down in the description. If you made it to this point, you're a true OG. You're a true dubscriber. Stay hydrated. Hashtag mini Tyler fun. Hashtag stay hydrated. Hashtag I like that right there. Hashtag 100 
100% Rotten Tomatoes. Hashtag 10 out of 10 recommend. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video all the way through, especially. And if you guys haven't commented down what kind of content you want me to create, do that right now. Smash that like button. Share this video with all of your friends. Let's get this video to 10K views. Check out the video where I teach her how to beatbox. Subscribe if you have not already. Buy my album, stream my album, you know, check out all the equipment I use down below. I am totally killing the game right now. I'm not messing this up. Hit the notification bell. This is all one take. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Say, you know, oh, I totally messed up now. Stay tuned for future videos, future live streams, website coming soon, merch coming soon. I love y'all. Have a fantastic, fantabulous, super allidocious day. Sever the strings from the puppet to your cut, cut them down. Now I'm here. <laughs>